but I want to spend a couple minutes on uh, on Micron, which uh, it wasn't an upgrade, Ami, but it was uh, JP Morgan made some comments on pricing that you didn't agree with. Yeah, we, uh, we saw some comments that came out that basically said that uh, prices were loosening um, in the DRM commodity market, which is uh, the underlying uh, fundamental driver for Micron stock. Uh, and, you know, there's no doubt Micron is a bit of a heart attack stock. Uh, anyone in tech uh, <laughs> knows that. Uh, lots of people, including myself, uh, have scars from playing the stock in the past. So it's, it's, it's the kind of stock you really, have to, you really do have to be vigilant about. Um, but our data from a few days ago, and we checked back in overnight last night, indicates that actually contract pricing for DRM is, is going higher month to month, February over January, and March over February by mid single digit percentages. So even if you just flatline the March price number into the second calendar quarter, you're looking at a nice price increase. Um, Micron themselves on their P&L hasn't actually recognized the full uh, flow through of these uh, commodity price increases. And as you've seen before in Micron's model, uh, price increase is, uh, should be near 100% incremental margins. And that also is uh, not properly flowed through to sell side estimates and reality. So while it's always tempting with Micron to uh, sell and run away and, and flee because it's a heart attack stock, uh, you know, and I'm, and I'm susceptible to that as well, the data actually shows very stable uh, seasonal uh, orders for smartphones and for PCs in the channel. An upgrade over just the last uh, two, three days to server and data center uh, estimates uh, or so for the supply chain driven by uh, U.S. Uh, public cloud service providers upping their forecasts, which again might be demand, it might be them accumulating inventory. Uh, there's been some scuttlebutt out there that um, the largest memory module house called Kingston has too much inventory. In fact, our checks overnight last night indicated that Kingston had not yet achieved their inventory target. So uh, to us, it looks like even though Micron is one of those stocks where people have a lot of, there's a lot of fear and this note from Old Wall caused the stock to fall something like four plus percent yesterday. Um, I think it's, uh, honestly, I think it's too early to make that call. I think it looks to me like the current quarter that they're going to report, which is the February quarter uh, for, Mar for Micron, is going to be a really good quarter. We're pretty much in line for that quarter versus uh, current estimates because that, that news is out there. But where the upside is, is the May quarter and the August quarter. And if you just take the tally of the next four quarters of EPS for us, and this moves around a lot with Micron because the, the commodity price does move around, but we are significantly ahead of street estimates, like around 50% ahead. And I don't even think I'm necessarily modeling the full flow through of price increases to incremental margins as tightly as I should. So I, I think that it's just way too early to make this call. I know it's a, it's, you can prey on people's fears and try to make that call. I mean, I've thought about doing that, but the data is just not there. <laughs> I mean, the data, damn data. <laughs> the data just continues to improve. And that's, we have to stay with that with Micron because uh, a lot of money is lost actually on the way up in these cycles as well. And I would not want to be short uh, this stock into the next earnings report. I think I'd get my face ripped off. And that's, that's the take on Micron here.